Hello, my name is Zuko, the Pogona Zuko. I am a model. Please follow me on Instagram. Okay, so this is my son's pet and most probably this will be the cause for a new free cat project. If I actually manage to make him stand still, okay. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome to this update of what's new in FreeCAD Link Stage 3 and uh, even though we are close to a new release we have seen big changes in Master also like the Sketcher improvements or the new Helix tool. Also please remember that Link Stage 3 is highly experimental and must be used with caution, do your backups etc. Anyway, as a side note, I really love the com community growing around this channel and uh, please subscribe and ring that notification button because apparently the YouTube algorithm uh, thinks it is important and it really helps this channel grow. So let's uh, kick off uh, with some visual enhancements. Uh, now the three view items can uh, have a background color and this can be customized uh, in preferences, display, user interface. Uh, the item background color can have um, uh, also a transparency value. This uh, small change really enhances uh, the legibility of the tree view items uh, overlaid uh, on top of the 3D view. Also in the latest release, Real Thunder has uh, gave us uh, the possibility to um, drag around the panels uh, of the overlay interface. This way we can customize our workplace to our likings. FreeCAD Link Stage 3 now has the ability to create a configuration table. This is something similar to SolidWorks uh, design table and I actually created a tutorial about uh, how to use this um, new tool. I will link uh, in the video description the tutorial and the initial forum thread announcement. The tree view grouping has been enhanced by adding two new options called, called uh, Auto Solid Group and Auto Auxiliary Group. The Auto Auxiliary Group will uh, group uh, items like sketches, datum planes or shape binders into their own uh, folders. Having the auto solid group enabled uh, will make so that uh, every new solid will be grouped in, into its own uh, tree branch and every additive or subtractive operation will be displayed on top making this really similar to Fusion's uh, 360 timeline. The part design test panel has gained two new options for previewing the, the operations being uh, ex executed. These two options are called show preview and show on top and they greatly enhance the assessment of the scene in the 3D view. Real Thunder has added a lot of new options to the additive and subtract, uh, subtractive uh, features of uh, part design. These new features are really helpful when dealing with uh, objects uh, that uh, need to fit each other. In fact, we will have um, taper angle and uh, fit tolerance. There is also support for an inner taper angle or an inner uh, fit. We have uh, also the options for the joint type uh, similar to the make fit solid tool.
Now there is support of cross-coordinate system linking in Attacher and Sketcher with using the Subshape Binder. You can now attach a body feature or sketch to any geometry regardless of uh, where it is and the same goes for attaching uh, external uh, geometry in Sketch. A Subshape uh, Binder will be auto-created to import the geometry into the current body if necessary. Besides the usual small improvements and fixes, the version 0202 of the Link Stage 3 now is uh, released uh, with a pre-installation of Jupyter Notebook. This is actually big news for developers and uh, inside uh, the notebooks, uh, the auto-completion of FreeCAD uh, function and methods uh, works uh, and this is really awesome. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of uh, what's new in uh, FreeCAD Link Stage 3. And uh, if you want to support uh, Real Thunder's work in the video de description, you will find a link to his uh, Patreon. So go there and show him some love. Thank you all and see you in the next one.